Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and good morning and if it's not the morning for you then good afternoon, good evening or good night wherever you are in the world. It's definitely the morning for me, it's 9.06 a.m. and I woke up about half an hour ago. I woke up late, my alarm went off at like 7 and then I slept until 8. I wanted to watch this movie at 9. It's now 9.06 so it's pretty close to 9 so I kind of got that right but I need to watch it at 9 because I have a bunch of stuff to do later today. I have packing and stuff to do because I'm traveling back home and stuff like that. So a whole bunch of busy stuff to do so I'm watching this in the morning so sorry if there's like a little bit of tiredness in this reaction but I am really looking forward to Casablanca it's a movie I've heard about a lot it's a very classic movie although I don't know the plot of it at all which is very exciting to me because a lot of these older movies like very famous older movies I at least know like the twist of the movie or the plot of the movie like Psycho for instance I didn't know the progression of the movie but I know I knew how the movie ended up so it kind of ruined the ending for me even though it was still really fun to watch on the channel but for a movie like Casablanca Blanca. It's a movie that I've heard a lot of good things about. It's a movie I've heard people praise, but I don't know anything about it. I don't know the plot of the movie. If there's a twist in the movie, I don't know the twist of the movie. If there are famous lines in the movie, I don't know what they are. And when someone says the famous lines, I'll probably go, oh, I've heard that line before. But off the top of my head right now, I don't know what they are. So I'm very excited because I'm going into this very, very blind. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So let me turn on the light and we can decide what color it should be. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I don't really know what the color of this movie is going to be. It's a black and white movie, I think. I think I'm just going to go blue for my own personal aesthetic, but I think the movie's in black and white, which means my screen is also going to become black and white, so the lighting isn't really going to matter in the video. But for me personally, I think I'm going to like watching this movie in blue. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon where I've uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. There are also two exclusive Patreon movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose so thank you so so much if you check it out now let's get back to the video okay let's just get into this movie i'm really really excited to finally be able to watch this old classic so without further ado i hope you enjoy my reaction to casablanca <laughs> ah ingrid bergman i have never heard of michael curtis before but let's see what he can do by train or auto or foot across oh so Casablanca is a place wait why did I not know this important official documents murdered on train from Iran murder and possible accomplices headed for Casablanca oh cool let's go I don't even know what genre this movie is supposed to be is it like a mystery is it a thriller is it suspense is it drama like I don't know Oh, run guy. Oh, well, he tried to run, but he got like three steps. Oh! Get shot in the back. Hi, Desert. This is the customary roundup of refugees, liberals, and uh, of course, a beautiful young girl from Monsieur Renault, the prefect of police. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for that exposition. I left my wallet in the hotel. Oh! Uh, what is this? What is this? Sounds like a plane. They're gonna drop bombs. It's a night he built bricks. Everybody comes to bricks. I have already heard about this cafe and also about Mr. Rick himself. Mmm. Is Rick gonna be our main character? I try to be boys, but they wouldn't do. Oh, nobody else gave me a three. Yeah, play that song, Piano Man. Let's go. Had to be you. Didn't really look like he was playing. He was just going <laughs> with his heads. Waiting seems like the very key word of this movie. That's such an interesting shot. I was really cool. Now with the Deutsche Bank, one would think you've been doing this all your life. Oh, what makes you think I haven't? Oh, n nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Thank you. Will you have a drink with me? Please? No. Oh, I forgot you never drink with any. I'll have another, <laughs> please. Yes, Miss. As soon as he leaves, he'll get a drink, but he won't drink with the customer. Oh, what this is? Something that even you have never seen. What is it? Letters of Transit, signed by General Vigon. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, hey, I heard a rumor those two German couriers were carrying letters of transit. Yeah, right? They were. He's unhappy. We're unhappy. How unhappy? I swear he's not playing piano right now. I swear he's just 
fakingly moving his heads. That's the way we're gonna stay, so knock on wood. Uh, I knocked on the wood is pretty fun. That's Casablanca's leading commodity. Refugees alone, we can make a fortune. No. No. For what I pay him. Yeah, but I ain't got time to spend the money I make here. Ah. Sorry. There you go. He's staying. Oh, shut up. All right, all right. For you, I shut up. Because you won. I love you. <laughs> For you, I shut up. <laughs> this bartender sounds fun. Where were you last night? That's so long ago, I don't remember. That's what fair. Last night is a long time ago. Yes, boss. And come right back. Yes, boss. <laughs> he said it's so disappointed there. Yes, boss. You would like to be on it. Yeah, everyone would. Rick, there's gonna be some excitement here tonight. We're gonna make an arrest in your cafe. Oh, really? Is it the guy who gave him the transit slips? Rick, we'd have an important guest here tonight. Major Strasser, of the Third Reich, no less. We want him to be here when we make the... So interesting that this movie takes place in, like, a Nazi-occupied area of the world. Also, this shot. This shot with the silhouette of him getting something. So good. Victor Laszlo. Victor Laszlo. Rick, that is the first time I've ever seen you so impressed. Well, yeah. Good. Yeah, he did. He paused. Oh, I should say two. Why two? He is traveling with a lady. Well, take one. I think not. I... Is the lady Ingrid? Got well paid for it on both occasions. The winning side would have paid you much better. Interesting. They don't interfere with me. In Casablanca, I am master of my fate. I am Major Strauss with your <laughs> He was just doing this epic speech and he got interrupted. So rude. Thank you. Very well, sir. Very interesting club. We're especially so tonight, Major. The police officer kind of reminds me of Kenneth Branagh. La partie continue. Yes. Will you please come with us? Ah, it is this guy. It is this guy. Thank you. Oh yeah, he's so good. He's so good. Do something. You must help me. Do something. How are they gonna hide you? They were like three feet behind you. He can't hide you. What's he gonna do? Shove you into the pillar? Make you become concrete? This is Major Heinrich Strasser of the Third Reich. Rick is so interesting. He seems so respected. In London? When you get there, ask me. <laughs> Diplomatist. How about me? That was a good answer. The reason is a little vague. We also know what you did in Paris, Mr. Blaine, and also we know why you left Paris. Don't. Is the reason going to be important? They've brought the reasoning up like twice now. Gentlemen, your business is politics. Mine is running a saloon. Good evening, Mr. Blaine. You see, Major, you I wonder if he's gonna try and help these people escape. Ah! Ingrid, 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 Ingrid. I've missed seeing your face. I haven't seen an Ingrid movie in a long time now. Victor. I'll meet you in a few minutes at the bar. No, I don't think we want to buy the ring, but thank you for showing it to us. Ah, uh, no, this stupid guy. French administration hasn't always been so cordial. May I present Miss Ilzalant? Ah, uh, the lighting, the soft lighting on her head. I love old movie soft lightings. Please. Oh, please, monsieur, it is a little game we play. They put it on the bill, I tear up the bill. It is very convenient. <laughs> I tear up the bill. I wish. I were not around. I should be in love with Rick. But what a fool I am talking to a beautiful woman about another man. Why is everyone in love with Rick? I want to be in love with Rick. You have to go meet him at the bar. Oh, look at the lighting on her face. So good. Yeah, they have the little Dorito triangle. Could you ask the piano player to come over here, please? Uh, very well, mademoiselle. Oh, what do you want to talk to him about? Excuse me, Jan. My bill. No. Two champagne cocktails, please. Yes, sir. He's being so nice to Victor. I never expect to see you again. Uh, they do know each other. Yeah, because she walked in and he was like staring at her. I thought he was just in love because it's Ingrid. And I was like, fair enough. I ain't seen him all night. When will he be back? Not tonight, no more. Is she in love with Rick as well? For all time's sake. 
I don't know what you mean, Miss Elsa. Blame them. Of course, he knows exactly what you mean. A sigh is just a sigh. Wow, there's something magical about this close-up right now. They still say I love you. On that you can rely. No, there's Rick, there's Rick. Man, that close-up was so enchanting. I told you never to play. Oh, man. What about Victor Laszlo everywhere? Won't you join us for a drink? Oh, no, Rick. Well, never. Thanks, I will. Well. Whoa, really? Really? It'll come again. Anytime. You say goodnight to Sam for me. I will. Oh, look at this shot. Wow. I love like the slowness of the frames, you know, like there's just people looking at each other and you can see like the water kind of coming up into their eyes and stuff like that. Wow. I didn't even realize we'd been in the cafe this entire movie basically so far. You know, it didn't even feel like it. It felt like we were in different locations because the camera was used so well. We were used all over the cafe with a whole bunch of different characters. Like, the cafe felt so much bigger than it probably was or is. My watch stopped. I bet they're asleep in New York. Oh, look at that. Sleep all over America. You could really see the pain on his face right now. What happened in America? All the gin joints in all the towns in all the world. She walks into mine. Maybe Ingrid happened in America, you know. Oh, such a beautiful song. Oh, flashback, flashback, flashback. Seems like they were having such a happy life. What happened? Is it was it when uh, Germany occupied France? Is that when everything changed? Here's looking at you, kid. Oh my God! There's a there's a line. There's a line that's famous. Here's looking at you, kid. I know that one. That's easy. That was. He's dead. Whoa. And then destruction and war follows. But they said that she was bad luck for Ricky, right? So I wonder what that's going to mean. He wants us to finish this bottle and then three more. He says he'll water his garden with champagne before he let the Germans drink it. No. <laughs> you said it. He's looking at you, kid. Oh, here's looking at you, kid. Let's see. Yes, I was having a brace put on my teeth. <laughs> yeah, probably. That makes sense. Here, here, drink up. We'll never finish the other three. Germans. I really like the war setting, actually. And don't forget, there's a price on you here. And this movie came out very close to World War II, or during World War II, 1942, right? So during World War II. No, no, no. We must leave. Yes, of course we. I have a train for my. Aww. I have things to do in the city before I leave. I'll meet you at the station. All right. Station. Anyone? Bill and Ted Bogus Journey. Wherever they put you. And wherever I'll be, I want you to know that. Ah, I got some chills, some goosebumps. I love the sound of the cannons in the background. Oh, come on, Sam, come on, Sam. She checked out of the hotel, but this note came just after you left. What, 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 what happened? Why would she do this? Why would she do this? No, that's so... No! Heartbroken, now he's gonna become cold. He knocks the glass over like she knocks the glass over in the flashbacks. Ah! Savendia! Let's go! I love the lighting. I love the lighting in old movies so much. Dear, I'll go with you any place. Get on a train together and never stop. Don't drink. I oh, so salty, but it makes so much sense. With the rain with a comical look in his face because his insides have been kicked out. Oh, fair. That is, yeah. Slow, or were there others in between? Or aren't you the kind that tells? 
Wow, that tear is going so slowly down her face. Very well. That's strange. Nobody is supposed to sleep well in Casablanca. <laughs> Maybe proceed to the business with pleasure. Won't you sit down? Thank He's you. like, I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> and Mademoiselle. You needn't be concerned about me. Is what does she have? A, she has like a dish on her head, like a big salad bowl on her head. Patient camp for a year. That's honor enough for a lifetime. You will yeah. the names? Yeah, why would he ever help? May I speak to him now? You would find the conversation a trifle one sided. Senor Yogart is dead. What? He has a monopoly on the black market here. You will find him over there at the Blue Parrot. Thanks. The Blue Parrot. I see the buses and I'll take my shipment with me. No hurry, I'll have it sent over. Have a drink with me. I'll have a drink in the morning and every time you send my shipment... I love fezzes. Fezzes are so cool. My cards on the table. I think you know where those letters are. You're in good company. Reno and Strasser probably think so too. He definitely knows where those letters are. Morning. Senor Ferrari is the fat gent at the table. Hmm. <laughs> He's like, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. A small discount. Did I say 700 francs? You can have it for 200. <laughs> I'm sorry I was in no condition to receive you when you called on me. I love it. It's like the tourist price and then the actual price. Why not? After all, I got stuck with a railway ticket. I think I'm entitled to know. Yeah. The one who looked at me with such hatred. That's true. But you did leave him at the train station. But I don't know her side yet, so I can't say anything on the subject. You see, Victor Laszlo is my husband. What? No, boo. I have nothing against Laszlo or anything. It's just you have to be with Rick. We take a miracle to get you out of Casablanca, and the Germans have outlawed miracles. We are only interested in two visas. That was a cool line. If I had to stay, and there were only visa for one, would you take it? Yes, I would. Oh. Secret will be safe with me. Ferrari is waiting for us. I thought they were gonna kiss there. That was like a kiss cam. That kind of uh, gave me a little shock that they didn't kiss. Maybe it's to show that she's not truly in love with him, you know, because they set it up in the framing like they were gonna kiss, but then they didn't. Um, my check. I have to warn you, sir. I beseech you. This is a dangerous place, full of vultures. Wow. Vultures everywhere. He really took that wallet, but there was no subtlety in that. That guy just must be really drunk. In her own way, she may constitute an entire second front. <laughs> well, I think she may. Oh my God. What did you say? Would you kindly repeat it? What I said is none of your business. I will make this my business. Oh, oh. I don't like disturbances in my place. I either lay off politics or get out. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Got a lifestyle. I'll sit down. Have a brandy with us. To celebrate our leaving for America tomorrow. Oh, thank oh congratulations. Such much. You will get along beautifully. What did they just say? Was that English or am I just tired or is that English? How long have you been married? Oh, so short. Bulgaria. Well, things are very bad there, monsieur. Is, he, is she asking for the uh, the papers? I'll bet. He tells me he can give us an exit visa, but but we have no money. There it is. There it is. The exit visa. They're just trying to get it from him. It's a bad thing to make certain of it. Could you forgive her? Nobody ever loved me that much. Ah, uh, someone did, right? This must have been such a good idea for a movie, just the whole movie basically taking place in one room. It's so genius. I love as time goes by. I love it so much. I will be listening to it when this movie is over. Is he reading the game? Or is he just super lucky? Just a lucky guy. I wonder how he managed to rig that. In the morning, we'll do everything business like We'll be there at 6. I'll be there at 10. I'm very happy for both of you. They'll still be there at 6. They'll just be sitting in an empty office. Maybe this time, but I'll be in tomorrow night with a breathtaking blonde. And it'll make me very happy if she loses. What? <laughs> very happy if she loses? Oh my god. There is. I suggest that you ask your wife. I beg your pardon? I said. Ask your wife. I suggest that you ask your wife. Oh, it's like <laughs> the two different songs competing against each other. The revolution begins. Oh. 
Uh, this is so cool. Oh my god, I got chills. Viva la France! Viva la resistance! Viva la revolution! Sacre bleu! <laughs> That's what someone should say. This place be shut up at once. What? No, the not the place. Good time. Yes, much too good a time. The place is to be closed. Oh, well, this guy's such. Excuse to close. This guy, they're having too good of a time. This guy's just salty that he's not having a good time. To find that gambling is going on in here. You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Everybody out at once. You're winning, sir. <laughs> I'm shocked that there's gambling, but I'm going to take my winnings still. My dear mademoiselle, perhaps you have already observed that in Casablanca, human life is cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Shall I remain here in our terror room hiding? Yeah, shall do I it. On the best I can? No. I terror room hiding. Apparently, he has the letters. Yes. No intention of selling them. Yeah. Yes, he said, uh, ask your wife. I don't know why he said that. Oh, she definitely knows. Oh, she definitely knows. If you wish to tell me. No, Victor, there isn't. Oh, no, there is. Say it. So was I she... Thank you very much, my dear. Was she with Rick while he was in a concentration camp? Yes, dear. Ah, kiss moment. Of course, I'll be careful. What? No kiss moment again. You notice how they're not kissing? Like, they're not actually kissing on the lips. It's just cheek kisses. And then they're just, like, looking at each other and stuff. So interesting. Usually if a couple's madly in love, like they were just saying, they'd be making out, like, madness in these movies. She's gonna be in there. Hello, Mr. Rick. Well, won't you sit down? Richard, I had to see well, you. There's Richard again. We're back in Paris. Please. We're back in Paris. In your own way, you were fighting for the same thing. I'm not fighting for anything anymore except myself. I'm oh. I'm oh, that was a good line. One woman has hurt you, and you take your revenge on the rest of the world. You're a, you're a coward and weak. Oh, she said the C word. Victor Laszlo will die in Casablanca. What of it? I'm gonna die in Casablanca. It's a good spot for it. It's a good spot for it. Now if you... What? No. Ah last time, put them on the table. You're not gonna shoot them, are you? I tried to stay away. I thought I would never see you again. She's very good at having one tear roll down her cheek. You knew how much I loved you. How much I still love you. Ah, there we go. There's the kiss. I was about to say that is the perfect kiss cam. But what about your husband? I know you don't actually really love him. I was frantic. For months I tried to get word. Then it came. He was dead, shot, trying to escape. Oh, so that's why... Oh, okay, so she didn't like cheat on him in Paris. She just actually thought he was dead. When did you first find out he was alive? Just before you and I were to leave Paris together. Yeah, yeah, that's why she wrote the letter. Okay, it all makes sense. <laughs> it's still a story without an ending. What the ending is right now. Living for. All except one. He won't have you. Yeah, that's a big one. I will. He's looking at you, kid. Aha! He said the line! Come inside. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be a trap. I feel like this is 100% a trap. We escaped in the last moment. Come up here a minute. Yes, I come. Okay, so the come bad thing already happened. So I guess I was right. I thought the meeting something bad was gonna happen, and I was right. I know a good deal more about you than you suspect. I know, for instance, that you're in love with a woman. Yeah. The first evening I came into this cafe, I knew there was something between you and Ilsa. Yeah, obviously, obviously. That's why they had that really cool shot that I pointed out, where he was standing in the background and she's in the foreground. I'm also a human being. Yes, I love her that much. Police, open up! Because, one, you bet 10,000 francs he'd escape. Two, you got the letters of transit. Now, don't bother to deny it. And work That's true, I forgot about the bet, the $10,000 bet. Plane. I'm taking a friend with me, one you'll appreciate. 
What friend? Ilza Lund. Okay, 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 okay. Big, something that would chuck him in a concentration camp for years. Why? Quite a feather in your cap, wouldn't it? Oh, man. She's very beautiful, yes. But you were never interested in any woman. Well. She isn't just any woman. Yeah. She's Ingrid. American cigarettes. I should remember to pay it to myself. <laughs> Uh, so he's he bought Rick's then? That's the deal? By order of the perfect... Oh, perfect prefect of police, man. I can't read. Tell me, when we searched the place, where were they? Sam's piano. Serves me right for not being musical. This serves me right for not being musical. It's time to thank the easy for all of us. Please trust me. Uh... All you have to do is fill in the signatures. Victor Laszlo? Victor Laszlo, you're under arrest. Oh, get wrecked, son. The explanation is quite simple. Love, it seems, has triumphed over virtue. Thank you. Oh. You can leave if your senses. I have. Sit down over there. Put that gun down. Louie, I wouldn't like to shoot you, but I will if you take one more step. Oh, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Tricky Ricky over here. Pointed right at your heart. That is my least vulnerable spot. Why is that your least vulnerable spot? What? Does he have a heart made of metal? I guess I just took that very literally. It's probably figurative. My car, quickly. Prepare my own. Oh, he didn't call the airport, did he? He definitely did not call the airport. Why my name, Richard? Because you're getting on that plane. I don't understand. What about you? I'm staying here with him till the plane gets safely away. No, Richard. Oh, he's saving them. Oh my God, what a good guy. I'm afraid Major Strasser would insist. You're saying this only to make me go. I'm saying it because it's true. Oh, I love this zoom in. The zoom in, that was awesome. We'll always have Paris. We didn't have, we, we lost it until you came to Casablanca. We got it back last night. Yeah! And I said I would never leave you. And you never will. You'll always be in my heart. Looking at you, kid. Yeah, what I did to say it's so bad. And it wasn't, and I let her pretend. I understand. Here it is. Thanks. Oh, man. Are you ready, Elsa? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, this could be the last time that she sees him ever. To send Elsa away with him. I know a little about women, my friend. She went, but she knew you were lying. Oh! Did Ricky get shot too? Did Rick get shot? Round up the usual suspects. Oh! 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 Okay. They have like the song playing in the background. Yeah, they've. Lifted off, yes, to America. Our expenses. Mm -hmm. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh, is this ever that? Is this the first time this line has ever been said in a movie? This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. That was a really good movie. That was that was really good, especially the end. I loved. The last like half an hour of this movie I loved. And that was my reaction to Casablanca, the 1942 romance drama film starring Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, Paul Heinrich, Claude Rains, and Peter Lore. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the messiness behind me and the darkness of my room. So after recording the reaction, I recorded it in the morning this morning. I then had a lot of stuff to do. I had to say goodbye to friends. I had to start packing because I'm going home tomorrow from this in my university dorm right now. I'm going back home tomorrow. So I was packing and then I had a lot of like people to say goodbye to and stuff today. So after my reaction, I went out saying goodbye to friends, like watch Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, which was, which was decent, not the best, not the worst. And then I, as you can see right here, I was in the middle of packing and, and then I was like, oh yeah, I have to do my Casablanca review. So hopped on the camera. Sorry about the mess behind me. It's just my suitcases and my backpacks and stuff getting packed. But yeah, let's get into the review for this film. I really enjoyed that film and I enjoyed that film more as it progressed. It was really interesting for me because I was going into this movie knowing it was a classic. I didn't really know anything about it. I know the line like here's looking for here's looking at you kid and stuff like that, but I didn't know it was in this movie and then 
I think this movie also brought upon the like uh, we're gonna be good friends or I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship I think this movie kind of made that line very popular and stuff like that but I knew that this was a classic but I don't know if I was necessarily like the most excited like I was excited to go into it but I wasn't as excited as a bunch of other movies like a bunch of other classics going into it and I don't know why and at the start of the movie I was like okay this is a good movie like it's decent I guess there's nothing special about the directing or anything it's just a decent movie but by the end of the movie I was really really encaptured by it and I don't really know why like the directing wasn't the most influential directing like if you look at a Hitchcock movie and compare it to the directing of this movie I think the Hitchcock movies are way better in terms of the directing style I don't think this one has anything too special about the directing or anything like that I think it's just a very well told story and I think it also revolves around the time that this movie came out and that is why this movie is still held in such a high regard because this movie came out in 1942 World War II if everyone knows this now World War II was still going on in 1942 and so to have a movie set during World War II set in a time and released in a time where the outcome of a war of a world war is very unsure it's just something very interesting and something that kind of captures the feelings of at least America for this time period like when those French I think it was all those French people right they sang the French national anthem the Germans were singing the German national anthem and then the French people came in and started singing over the Germans like I was like okay that's a very powerful moment but I can't imagine going to a movie theater in 1942 during the war not knowing how the war is going to end and seeing these people resist this German occupation like that is just really really inspiring to me and I think it is something that is very important that this film holds like this little time capsule if you will of 1942 and how America was dealing with the war and how this movie is portraying the war in a time period where the outcome was uncertain. Yeah it's not just the time period where I think this movie is great I think Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman I think they both did an exceptional job I think they did a crazy good job in terms of the romantic relationship I thought I was very on board with the relationship I thought it was great I think the lighting in this movie was really really good and I thought the score like that one song like in time or whatever the song was called I thought that was an amazing little musical piece as well whenever they played it I was like oh yes 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 and also the setting just the use of pretty much a single setting for the entire movie except for the third act and then some flashbacks and then little scatterings here or there like just the use of the cafe casino as uh, like Rick's Cafe Casino for basically the entire movie. I thought that was very well done as well. Getting into the reviews of this movie before I get into the score and then just everything else that I really liked about this film. So 8.5 out of 10 on IMDb and 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. So I mean, critics seem to love this movie. Audiences seem to really like this movie as well. I can understand why. And I think this movie is definitely has is a movie with magic in it. And it's weird because usually in movies with magic in it, like they're directed really well or they're acted really well or the lighting is beautiful and I think that the acting I mean I think the acting in the movie is phenomenal especially with Ingrid Bergman and Humphrey Bogart I think they do a phenomenal job with the acting in this movie but I think that this movie is just like a time capsule mixed with everything done very well nothing like outstanding nothing like the directing I don't think it's anything to write home about I don't think the lighting is anything to write home about I think the lighting was good but I don't think it was anything to write home about or anything like influential that changed the way cinema is but I think the script was really good and I think the acting was really good and I think that's why this movie is so good the music in this movie I thought was pretty good I didn't notice too many of the songs but definitely there were some powerful moments that included music and one of them being when Sam would play that song I thought it was like in time or about time or all about time or all out of time something to do with time he played that song a few times in the movie and whenever it played it gave me the goosebumps it was so so good and when they played it the first time I was like oh this song is definitely coming back in like a flashback or later on in the movie or something like that and oh my gosh when it did when it did it's such a beautiful song such a beautiful piano me me melody and I can't wait to download that song and listen to it and pretend I'm Ilsa or Rick and uh, and in love in Paris and looking back at my love in Paris even though Rick was looking back on it in a lot of anger until the end of the movie I would be like I would be like Ilsa and look back on it out of love. I think it's so interesting how the script has so many kind of influential moments or cliche moments 
in film and I think that they all stem from this because it's interesting when you say when you say a film has like a bunch of cliche moments or a bunch of tropes you usually go oh that's not very good because then it's very predictable and while this movie was for the most part predictable except for the end which uh, maybe is predictable but for me I wasn't I didn't know that Rick was going to leave like Ilsa and I didn't know he was going to like spare the captain and stuff like that like there was a few things that I didn't know but for the most part it was a very kind of predictable movie you could kind of see where the relationship ship was gonna go and stuff like that and it was very cliche there were a lot of cliche things a lot of cliche lines in it but I don't think at the time it was cliche I think at the time this script invented the cliches or at least a bunch of the cliches that you see in films you know like just the romantic nature of the film some actual lines like the best friend line like oh I think we're gonna be best friends like that line I think that that line was one of the first times it was used in a movie in this film in Casablanca and then in other movies like that line is heard so many times now as a final line in movies and I think this was definitely one of the first times to use it or this was maybe uh, a few films down the line after using it but this was the one that really kind of cemented it as a, an ending line for a film. The setting in this movie as well, I, I really liked the use of the casino cafe. I really liked how big it felt, how wide and spacious it felt, even though it was a it was a pretty big room, but it's not like huge. It felt really, really big. In fact, there were times where it felt so big that I was actually unsure if we were still in the casino or I would actually forget that we were in the casino cafe and I would just think that we were somewhere else even though I knew that we were in the casino cafe. Like I love the use of just different angles everywhere and stuff like that to just really you got the whole picture the whole scope of the casino you kind of we're kind of all over the place we go up into his room we go down the stairs we're in the casino we go to the cafe we go to the bar and I think the camera work just helped to encapsulate how big this room was and it made it feel even bigger even more spacious which is what good camera work does I like the camera work isn't anything to write home about but it is good camera work I also think something that helped was the use and inclusion of adding other people into to the film you know there were a lot of moments where the camera would focus on someone not essential to the plot and that made it really interesting because it made it seem like these little stories these little moments like those that couple who was going to America the next day or that or that that old yeah that older couple who are with like the the butler or the server or whatever and they sit down and he sits down and they have a drink and they're like oh finally or the guitar player and stuff like that or the band members like all of these people in the movie that aren't necessarily essential like you could cut these these characters and the movie wouldn't change however keeping them in gives a really interesting perspective of like that these stories these very little stories matter and there's even a moment in this movie I don't remember exactly when or a line in this movie or something where it's like oh like oh yeah it's at the very end of the movie and Rick's like in the grand scheme of things like the three of our stories are not essential like they're not influential and in the, across the world you know he says that in the final in the final moments of Ilsa and Rick seeing each other and I really like that the film I think almost contradicts that it's almost saying no that's not true these little stories are actually the stories that matter and I think it's saying that through just not just Rick and Ilsa's relationship and and everything like that and the actual main plot of the movie but by showing these other stories showing these other non-essential characters and what their stories are and we don't know too much about them but we see what they're doing we know what they're feeling and the moments and stuff like that and they're just these little shots like a minute long 30 seconds long 10 seconds long and we just get to see the characters maybe see the reactions to a scene maybe a small conversation that they're having but I think the focusing on these non-essential characters makes them feel essential you know like I don't think this movie would work as well if they weren't in it one because it makes the space feel so much more alive it, it makes Casablanca feel so much more alive because you have these real people with these real problems and these real issues and these real lives going on and you get to see it but also it just makes these real lives and these very small stories these non-essential stories if you will feel essential and I think that is one of the main takeaways of this film for me which I really really enjoyed okay getting into the cast now I'm just going to talk about Humphrey Bogart Ingrid Burge Paul Heinrich and Claude Rains. So Claude Rains as the captain, I I was recognizing him from somewhere. He looks like Kenneth Branagh to me a little bit, but he I think he was in a Hitchcock movie. I think he was in Notorious. I think he was in Notorious. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think he was in Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious. He was really good in that movie. If if I'm remembering the same actor, I thought he was really good in this movie as well. I like that he didn't die at the end of the movie. I like that he didn't portray Rick at the end of the movie. I like that they're the best friends, but I. 
I just really enjoyed his character as well. I like the double edgedness of his character. He was very, he was, he was kind of like Rick, you know, he was, he was sticking his neck out for people, but he was also making everything revolve around him in terms of like what would work for him, what would help him and stuff like that. I really enjoyed his character in this film. Paul Henry as Victor. I don't have too much to say about him. I don't think he was in the movie too much. He was a really fun character. He was an enjoyable character. I like that he was like the leader of the resistance and stuff and he was Elsa's like husband and she liked him but she loved Rick. I really like what they did with Elsa and Victor and how they didn't kiss on screen. I thought that was really interesting and a very good visual way to show that Elsa actually doesn't love Victor and that she loves Rick because they don't kiss and it's kind of implied through that that she is still in love with Rick. It's never said until that point. Like she hasn't gone to Rick's room and they haven't had this talk and she hasn't been like, oh, I actually still love you. Like it was hard and she doesn't do all of that. Like it's just implied that she still loves Rick and that she's in love with someone else at least because she's not kissing Victor. You know, whenever they go into kiss or something, she'll move her head to the side or Victor just kisses the cheek or, or they don't kiss or they just talk to each other. And you have these kiss cams, these purposely placed kiss cams that in nine out of 10 times the characters would kiss in and so they audience is expecting a kiss and then you don't get it and you go but why didn't we expect a kiss and then you go well it's probably eventually because they do like five or six of them before she admits her love to Rick you go okay so she must still be in love with Rick I really like that what that they did that with Victor and Elsa and I think Paul did a really good job as Victor. Ingrid Bergman as Elsa I thought she was great Ingrid Bergman is a fantastic actor she's one of my favorite actors or actresses if not my favorite actress from this kind of era of filmmaking I think she's phenomenal She's so good in the emotional scenes, like so, so good. All of the close-ups on her face, like the lighting, like the very soft lighting on her face, just mixed with the emotion. She's super good at having one tear slowly roll down her cheek. You know, that happened like five times in this film, but she was so, so good. She sold the emotional scenes. She sold the romantic scenes and her chemistry with Rick and Victor were all fantastic. And finally, Humphrey Bogart as Rick Blaine. Rick Blaine was such an interesting character. I didn't like him at the start. Didn't like him in the middle for some reason. I loved him at the end of the movie. There was like a turn of event. It was like after the montage in Paris, I still didn't like him necessarily because I was like, come on, there must have been a reason. Like watching the movie, obviously I knew there was going to be a valid reason for her to leave, but I guess it makes sense that he would have been cranky and stuff. So I understood that. I was just like, watching the movie, I was like, okay, but I've seen this before because of the cliche thing that I was talking about earlier. So I was like, I've seen this before. I know something validating is going to come out of this. And then by the end of the movie, I thought he was a fantastic character. I just really loved his personality, really loved his demeanor. And I think Humphrey Bogart did a really good job. And that is my reaction and review to Casablanca, the 1942 romance drama film. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. Yeah. I really enjoyed this movie. Yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. I had a really good time with it, especially the ending and that piano song. I really liked that song. If there are any other super famous movies from this era that I have not reacted to yet, please let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.